Wow, I'm so happy. These are the things that make me happy. They make me feel alive, man. There's nothing greater than this. Nothing. Lucid lifestyle, baby. Subscribe. What's up, my dudes? <laughs> How are you? I hope your day started right and if not, don't worry, we're gonna learn how to how to make up for that. I just wanna say hi and ask how you feel today and to all the Greek people, puiste la malakis, puiste la lanya, posti bernate, elpizo oli kala, oli dinati, stelne ipomoni ke dinami solus, ke elpizo na adamoso me polus oposasi doma. Πάμε στο βίντεο. Translation. <laughs> Sorry about that. I just know that many of you guys are Greek and are supporting me and I love you guys deeply and I appreciate you so much for that. Okay, I'm gonna be really really transparent and honest with you in this video. Uh, the reason I'm making this is because I have been a mess for a long time because I didn't have any rituals set for me in the morning that would also set me up for the day but also set a direction for me in the future and it's important at least for me to to have a way to to take out all the guesswork out of my mind uh, especially in the morning to not overthink but have a purpose to get out of bed but above all it is about starting the day and feeling good straight from the beginning. Hey buddy, good morning man. Now, I want you to wake up, I want you to make your bed and don't even think about laying back in it. Go wash your face, drink some water, brush your teeth and get started on your routine. Getting out of bed have been a real struggle for me, especially during lockdown. And I have had to come up with many original ideas to, to make that happen. And the most powerful one have actually been to record my own voice and remind myself in the morning what the first steps should be and also why um, to do them. I'm sure many can relate to the fact of when we go to bed super motivated about waking early and do so many things the day after and when the time comes to wake up and get out of bed we have forgotten everything about that and we are just rolling over to the other side. So this alarm clock even though it's super hilarious it's so powerful it's been working great for me. I always include some form of breath work um, in the morning, something that will connect me and make me aware of my, my breathing and send all my attention there. I have had times where I just meditated in the morning or I did the Wim Hof method or uh, tried different kind of breathing exercises and everything just comes down to be connected to your breath, to be able to recognize your breathing patterns and where your breath is at. I feel like it's very important to share that I'm very realistic about my, my routine. It can change over and over and it's not always about what I specifically do but more about the principle of, of actually having a ritual in the morning or some non-negotiables, right? We all wake up with different moods and different energy levels from day to day but, but the most important thing for me is to prove to myself day by day that I'm I'm capable of, of being disciplined because that's what will build confidence in my life and transform my mind and eventually my life about proving that I can stick to something that I set for myself 
And the big key to that is to acknowledge that sometimes we, we don't feel like we would like to, but instead of letting that getting the best of me, I, I stick to my non-negotiables like breath work. And instead of three sets of breath work, it could be five minutes. Instead of a whole workout, it could be three sets of one exercise or one paragraph in my journal instead of a whole page. So just get in with the least amount of effort of what I feel I can give, but still do it. Because that's, that's, that's the power of frequently putting in the work and showing up with all the small things. I'm a huge believer of freedom. I've been fighting for my own freedom for years in my mind, my body and my lifestyle. But one big mistake was that I thought that freedom was enough, but freedom is, is nothing without having discipline and without having some form of restriction to it. Otherwise, you, you can't live with intention. And that's a huge lesson for me to one thing is to start your day with intention and secondly is to live your life with intention and it's truly been transforming my mind and my life since i started implementing all these things and realizations after spending over a month alone in the mountains you're starting to face truth and reality within yourself it makes you humble <laughs> It scratches the ego out of the picture and really puts things into into a perspective. And for me, it's been the biggest gift of 2021 to really understand myself better through my practice and my lifestyle. I'm, I'm 35 days alone up in the mountains now, and it's been the toughest, most transformative and truth experience. I have ever been through so I will probably make a video on on my experience alone so let me know down in the comment section what you would like me to answer in that video if you have any questions so after I'm done with my coffee my perfect my most favorite moment of the day is probably journaling time and just getting some Sun when the Sun is out so I love spending time outside and in nature, nature, obviously. And I've been using the roof of my van actually to be the king of the world and just absorb everything um, and start my day right. I have a rule of not touching my phone till, till the afternoon so I can be present and not fill my mind with unnecessary uh, information and just be able to be present and absorb and really be grateful. I will say that the most transformative tool that I actually have used to get back on track with my life have been journaling, guys, honestly. It takes me five minutes a day <laughs> and it has changed so deeply how I react to my environment and I really get awareness about what things I choose to do uh, in my day and also why I do them. So I do this, uh, which I call zero pointing, where I basically start out by just writing how I feel, um, what the mood is of the day and how I woke up and just be totally honest and get that out on paper, just three sentences, whatever I feel like, honestly. And with that, I, I understand where, where my mood is for the day. And um, that way I set tasks that I would love to accomplish, but keeping in mind how I feel. So I don't set myself off up to failure, but actually be realistic about what I expect to reach and do within this day. So I then write, write down the tasks, but I always write the why I would love to do them. Um, because usually we get really caught up <laughs> about just doing and doing more and even more. But sometimes it's actually about doing less, but everything you do, you have a, a really strong intention behind it. 
by this time my mind is clear my intention for the day is clear and i always uh, like to bring my body into that space too so i'm waking it up always in the morning doing some form of stretching or movement and uh, many of you guys who have been watching me for for quite some time know that i used to have muscle <laughs> where where has that muscle gone johnny and uh, it's a sad story because it's close to six months since i got injured in my shoulder and i have what we call a slap tear or a labrum tear and it basically um keeps me from from doing any pushing movement or pulling movements um at least in the in the, um, the way i used to do them so i'm my priority right now is to just get my body back to normal out of pain so i can be free again i would obviously lie to you if i told you that i didn't care about losing muscle i trained and worked so hard to to earn so many skills that i'm i'm not even able to perform right now but the truth is is that i don't miss the muscles or the aesthetics that that i had honestly i just miss being able to move freely and pain free and and be able to do all these things and yes of course if i got some muscles by doing the things that i enjoy amazing but that's very far from from my goal um and my orientation in my practice you can't really judge one's health by by looking at how his physique is right uh i might be healthier than many people um in my body even though i don't have the muscle that a bodybuilder has um so there's this huge misconception and this toxic view on on how we should train and how we should um take care of our bodies and and how we should treat it and sometimes that mindset really makes us more sick than actually healthy because we we do things without having an intention or knowing the why behind we do something and sometimes we even get injured on the way i think i have so much to say that i will probably just cover it in a different video so in the beginning of this video I, i actually talked about being doing something daily to be connected to your breath and be aware of how you breathe well closing up this routine with cold exposure is the way you learn to also control it and by actually learning to control your breath in a stressful environment just when you're exposed to extreme cold for example is much more than just controlling your breath it's actually being able to remind and teach your body when it's unnecessary to be stressed because we live in a primal body that is designed to keep us alive alive from wild animals and other things that are not existing anymore uh, in our day-to-day -day life but we still get stressed right and the key component to get us out of stress is actually the frequency and the depth and the control of our breath when when that get disturbed we are giving signals to our body that we are in danger i will leave it at that i guess i have many videos i really want to cover uh, so please subscribe if you are enjoying this video and have made it this far i appreciate you so much and that's why i will share with you my first meal of the day which is super easy to just make super fast also and it's in general my go-to um first meal of the, the day uh i don't eat breakfast so it's yeah you could call it intermittent fasting i guess uh, and this is how i break my fast with a great sandwich some cheese feta three eggs Uh, some oregano and to top it all off i put some avocado and some tomato in there to just make this a bomb and if i'm lucky and the weather is great i go and absorb some more sun and usually catch up to speak to some people so i don't forget totally this language <laughs> and how to communicate with people 
Now, guys, that's my routine. That's how my the first part of my day looks like, like till the afternoon. So please let me know if you have any questions or things you want to share. Otherwise, I will definitely see you next Monday and I appreciate you. Thank you. Leave a like, subscribe to the lifestyle and I will see you.